Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 30th, 2021. My goodness, the end of the month, the end of the second quarter. And yesterday, S&P 500 set its 33rd record for the year. Obviously, NASDAQ also setting that record. It was largely the big tech giants that were doing most of the pushing yesterday. And, and, and largely, we gapped up and then kind of drifted the rest of the day. So kind of an interesting day of price action and kind of begs the question, what happens today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we could gain a little information about how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, let's take a look here in the Dow. One of the things we do have to recognize is that we are still technically downtrending here in the Dow. And although we have rallied up substantially, we still have a significant amount of resistance here to be made aware of in the chart. We have that downtrend that we still need to break and we have this price resistance level that's still stubbornly holding in place. Now let's keep in mind we also have a rather positive pattern showing up in the price action of the chart. Rallying up, getting back above its 50-day moving average, and now resting and consolidating right in this range. So that possibility exists. If we can find that bullish inspiration, we could push right on through this level. But we also have to recognize the fact that if those bears find inspiration, this would be a really bad place for us to potentially fail. So watch that closely. Now you can see here in the pre-market we were um, lower this morning and as normal here lately, all we do is pump and pump and pump toward the morning open. So can we get enough inspiration here? Um, well, that's yet to be seen, but watch that closely. Remember, we are holding on just above our 50-day moving average, and that can be very bullish, like I said before. If we can hold that and find that bullish inspiration, we may slice right through that downtrend and resistance levels here in the chart. But if we were to stumble here, that could be pretty ugly, and one of my favorite shorting patterns ever is a failure to rally back above a 50-day moving average after an earlier failure. That can be one of the most powerful shorting patterns I have ever traded in the market. So we really have to stay on our toes here today. I don't want to suggest bearishness in the market, but there is reason to be a little bit cautious here, particularly on the Dow. Now let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, while the majority of the stocks were just kind of drifting sideways um, to down, the big techs did their job yesterday, lifting us up, continuing to set new record highs. And like I said at the beginning, it was the 33rd record high this year on the SPY. Now it does make you wonder how much longer this can continue, but as of right now, taking a look at this chart, there really is nothing but upside trend showing up in the market. Now we are well above price support levels, but if we were to stumble, if we were to find some uh, bearish reasons to pull back, then we would have some support here in this area. And if that were to fail, we have support and trend to potentially hold us in this area. Keep in mind that we are still well above our 50-day moving average. In fact, I would say maybe a little bit stretched away from our 50-day moving average. But there is no sign here at the moment of uh, failure um, that I can see here in this chart. Now notice that we were showing a little bit of bearishness this morning. Um, European markets are, are bearish across the board this morning. But here in the U.S., every single morning, we pump toward that open. We push and push and push. Don't be surprised if we see some positive prints by the time we get there. And we do have some data coming our way that can certainly help that out. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at um, the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ just continues to drive higher. Apple, Microsoft showing lots of strength 
pushing higher yesterday, continuing to lift the indexes up, and we closed the um, QQQ very, very positive yesterday. Lots of strength. Now, one thing I will have to say is that we are starting to look a uh, really stretched out here in the short term on the QQQ. We are very elevated away from our 50-day moving average. Look how steep this rally is uh, to that upside. So one of the things you have to be a little bit concerned about is if it is big tech that's been lifting and moving the market to the upside, what happens if big tech starts to sell? Um, and I can't say that that's going to happen, but it does make me worry when we get that far elevate, elevated away from our 50-day moving average that, you know, logic would tell us that a rest or pullback would be on the way. So keep that in mind. Now, with this being the end of quarter, don't rule out the possibility of some window dressing um, happening here. And we can push even higher, hit new records um, closing out this month. But be really, really careful looking forward because a little bit of softness, a little bit of weakness could easily show up here in the QQQ. And then if we take a look at our... IWM. IWM continues to show us a little bit of struggle as we press toward these resistance highs. Notice we've pushed up here multiple times. We failed, failed, and failed. And we've been unable to get back up here and test this level in the chart just yet. So we're struggling here. Notice that yesterday um, in this little bit of a pullback that we continued, well here, let me show you this, right here. As you can see right here, if we were to open the market here, we have kind of failed a little bit of a support level. But here again, the pre-market is pumping and pumping and we have these higher lows in here that could still support this. So don't rule out that possibility that we could move higher, but also I don't think we can rule out the possibility that diamonds and IWM could show a bit more weakness uh, moving forward. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, interestingly enough, as we set new record highs in the SPY and the Qs, our VIX actually rallied off of early morning lows. Um, we had that gap up open yesterday that brought in a little bit of, um, well, the fear dropped out of the market. And as you can see, we put in a big tail here. So this is a double tail on this uh, VIX. Interesting pattern here overall. Not sure exactly what that means. I don't know if that means that um, we're going to bounce back up or not, but it does show that there was just a little bit of fear coming into the market toward the end of the day. Now we're still below this price resistance in the chart. So I see that as bullish for the market as long as we can stay down there. However, if we start to lift back up, if we do see that that bearish inspiration coming into the market, could be a little bit of a problem here um, with those two big long tails down there at the bottom. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Interestingly enough, the T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, pulled back yesterday. Now, we set new record highs in the SPY and the QQQ, and yet our four week new high, new low ratio said more stocks were setting new lows on the four week than they were new highs, which suggests it's telling us that the majority of stocks were moving sideways to down yesterday. The, the preponderance of stocks were moving sideways to down yesterday as we set new record highs. That really indicates that um, that QQQ area, the, the big techs are the major driver for this market. And if they slip in any way, shape or form, um, we could have some painful selling that could come into the market. So far they're holding up. There's no sign that they're willing to sell off, but that is a little bit of a worry when we have just such a select few lifting the market up. So let's watch this here. We still have where we closed yesterday. We've opened up a pretty good size opportunity to the upside. If those bulls can be inspired, we have plenty of upside room now to move to that upside. However, 
we could still move down here to the downside if those bears find inspiration so watch that closely and, and it's all going to be it's really all going to come down to the data um, over the next few days which direction we um, uh, eventually pick here let's take a look at our t2101 this continues to be a major problem um, in my opinion this this is showing us why it's so difficult right now for a lot of folks to make money in the market because we'll get a a good entry signal for a trade a good buy signal and then it just dies on the vine and that's what we're seeing here we're seeing an awful lot of um just uncertainty here in the absolute breadth. We're not getting follow through momentum. Um, we push to the upside, we don't get follow through momentum. We push to the downside, we don't get follow through momentum in the market. And uh, notice yesterday, that our market breadth declined actually pretty sharply yesterday as we set new record highs in the the nasdaq and spot uh, spy and isn't that interesting because that really shows us that there is a very select few stocks that lifted us to those new levels and to me that that displays some significant danger if those were to start to roll over or slip to the downside so watch this closely interesting interesting things as we continue to set new record highs but we're just not showing that market breadth and that momentum to hold things up it's an interesting market and if you've been experiencing what most folks that i work with have been experiencing very choppy results in their trading not much follow through uh, a lot of fits and starts in the trades that they're finding so um, pretty tough market to trade and market breadth is really kind of showing us um, those challenges let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar is a busy one we've got a few things here that we're going to want to pay attention to and that's really going to transition in through the rest of the week keep in mind that at about 8 15 this morning eastern time we're going to get the adp report adp um, as you know has that potential to move the market it's not nearly as influential as it used to be but keep a close eye on that adp number uh, private payrolls also keep an eye on chicago pmi comes out at 9 45 we've got pending home sales to get past and then we're going to have that petroleum status report that certainly will be very very important for that oil sector um, and energy sector stocks so watch that closely got a couple fed speakers to make note of now one of the things i want to point out where this is our last day of the quarter there is that possibility that we could have some in the quarter window dressing um, happening if we can find some inspiration in here so you don't want to rule out that possibility and then you want to be thinking carefully about the risk as you finish up this day care carefully about the risk as we run over here to jobless claims ism manufacturing and those employment situation numbers and international trade um, these are big market moving events that could affect us toward the end of the week and also keep in mind that we have a three-day weekend upcoming with the fourth of july holiday so we could also see volumes really begin to decline quickly as we head toward that holiday weekend and just thinking about all of the folks that may be traveling and heading out to um, extend or enjoy that holiday weekend so watch that closely think about that carefully as you plan forward let's take a look at um, the earnings calendar now on our earnings calendar we have um, 11 companies um, reporting earnings today and there are some notables to uh, be paying attention to first off we're going to have bbby bed bath and beyond reporting this morning looks like it's holding up pretty well so far in the pre-market hang it in there bed bath and beyond reporting and uh, later on this afternoon uh, one of the big ones is we're going to be hearing from micron micron will be reporting this afternoon let's notice that we've got some rising lows going on in here and we've broken that downtrend so this is going to be an important report will we hold up in this area and continue on higher or will that earnings report 
um, bring out the bears and push us back down. Who knows, but let's watch that closely. Also keep in mind, we are approaching a pretty substantial level of price resistance in that chart. So watch that carefully. And then we're gonna hear from STZ, Constellation Brands. We all like those adult beverages. And as you can see, um, they are popping and dropping just a little bit this morning in the pre-market. And keeping in mind that they uh, this potentially could set up that lower high um, in a price resistance level. So watch that close on Constellation. We're also gonna hear from General Mills, GIS. GIS reporting today, looks like they could be putting in a little bit of a failure right here at a major price resistance and downtrend. So keep an eye on GIS today. We've got SJR. Oops. SJR reporting this morning. Now, probably shouldn't even put this on the list because honestly, this thing it, it just trades around in such a flat trading range. Um, I'm not sure there's that's going to be um, at all um, notable for today. And last but not least, We've got Franklin Covey that will be reporting today, so keep a close eye on FC. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And honestly, more importantly than anything else is if you're clicking the, that thumbs up button and leaving a brief comment. Um, those you can even leave an, an emoji that counts but it's the engagement with the video that really helps the algorithm to show these videos to more folks so please engage with the video if you can um, I truly appreciate everyone that takes the time to do that um, you know there's quite a commitment to create a, a video every single market day and um, you guys supporting that effort is is wonderful and i i can't thank you enough for all your kindness kind words and support for that effort you guys are awesome and um also want to give a big shout out to those who are supporting the channel through buy me a coffee if you take a look at that link if you're not a member of hit and run candlesticks or right way options that's one of the ways you can show your appreciation for this kind of content is just by clicking that link um, buying a coffee and um, that money is not being used for coffee actually it's actually going to be used to enhance the quality of the content of the channel so thank you so much for everyone who is doing that let's take a look at the stocks that are potentially setting up and keep in mind there is no recommendation about or sell any security here you have to do your own due diligence making sure that you follow your personal risk tolerance and your rules it's never ever a good idea to blindly follow someone else's trade let's take a look at some of these stocks now um, interesting patterns in in some stocks where we we continue to whip around but I got to tell you I really like this chart in plug power um, plug holding up well notice that we um, rallied we kind of suffered a little bit but we recovered those support levels held in here we are dealing with a price resistance level so i wouldn't rule out the possibility that this may have to build a little bit of energy it may have to just kind of rest in this area here let me um, throw this trend right here if we mark that trend notice that we could still spend couple three days kind of resting here before we maybe pop on through that resistance but keep an eye on plug plug might be one to have on your list and in the same in that same industry group take a look at uh, Ballard Power Power uh, Ballard Power is also in that fuel cell technology and we're seeing like being BMW coming up with a new fuel cell car and that technology is starting to come around so let's keep an eye on that that possibility does exist that Ballard Power could move on through this price resistance in the chart and this pattern is a pattern that I typically like to trade it's what we call a round of bottom breakout and that's where we see uh, price break above the 50 notice that 50-day moving average is starting to 
turn, flatten. All the shorter term moving averages are starting to move up, providing that support level in that chart. If we can get some bullishness coming in here, no reason why that can't move up here and attack that 200 day moving average. And notice right in here, uh, just up to the 200 day, that's about a 20% return. So a uh, nice potential upside. We also have this gap over here that might be um, interesting and in that fact that we could work to fill that gap. Um, over there. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at some of the other stocks out there that have been looking really, really good. Apple. Apple breaking through some resistance levels in the chart yesterday. Notice we pop right up through here, breaking through. And now any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity. Just give us a rest or pull to that. Prove that you can hold this support level and then we would have more upside potential here in Apple. Looking pretty good overall. Let's keep an eye on um, other uh, technologies here in um, green energies. Um, TAN looking pretty good. As you can see, TAN, since my alert right here, moved up sharply right into this price resistance. I would look for a little rest or pullback, maybe even a consolidation in this area and then watch for that possibility that we pop through that resistance. Now it is entirely possible we could still just push right on up, push through that resistance and then come back and test this area as support. Keep in mind that we're stretching away from that trend a little bit. So some rest or some consolidation in here would be a good thing for um, this chart to do. So watch that closely. As you guys know, I've been talking about box and I happen to hold this trade in box and talk about a frustrating chart. We, we take off, we finally get a move and then we take most of it back the next day. So we're holding in this trend, we're looking okay, but we need a little bit more of a push in here. We need that inspiration in here to move box a little bit more. Keep a close eye on that chart. Um, kind of an interesting one to pay attention to. I think um, NKLA is one you might want to keep an eye on. Although it pulled back pretty hard yesterday, we still maintain this nice upside trend and we have a resistance level up here that we could still go after. So watch that carefully. It may have to rest here a couple of days, but watch for that opportunity that that could move on through. Now, of course, if this breaks this trend, uh, for me, if we break trend in something like this and we break below this support level in the chart, I won't be interested in it until it recovers those levels and starts back up. Now, I also want to take a, a moment and mention um, cannabis. Cannabis has been trying here. Um, TLRY, we tried to push up yesterday and ended up of the day reversing back down as we kind of slid sideways and the Dow was pushing back down. But notice this pattern in here. We are struggling along and trying to hold that 50 day moving average. And notice that 50 day moving average has all of this moving average support here in this chart. Even the 200 day is coming up in here trying to provide support to that price. So keep an eye on this. If this can push on through, if we can find those buyers in here, there might be some up upside movement coming in these charts. Just watch them closely, not quite ready for prime time, but they are definitely trying. So some pretty good stocks in that sector. So with that, everyone, there's a few stocks for you to put on your list and watch today. I wanna to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Remember, keep an eye on that jobs data. Uh, things could move around here quite a bit over the next few days. Make sure you're careful in your planning. And remember, when we've had rallies like we've had, lately if you're holding some nice profits don't be shy about taking some profits because this is the kind of market that can take those away really really quickly y'all take care be safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning have a good one everyone